Well, welcome back to Photo Tuts. My name is Simon Plant, and today we're going to be looking at a new filter that's inside Photoshop Creative Cloud, which is the Adaptive Wide Angle filter. Now, at this point, you're probably not getting too excited about the uh, Adaptive Wide Angle. It doesn't sound that exciting, and um, I was bit the same but once I dig a little bit deeper I actually found out uh, that this is this filter is actually a very powerful filter not only will it uh, correct distortions in your images but it will allow you to do it in a way that gives you control so let me uh, give you an example um, I've got some uh, raw files here the DNG files and ideally you want to use uh, use this filter with the raw files um, just for quality reasons you don't have to but it does make use of the lens profiles that come with the uh, in the metadata of your file so uh, let me just show you we're going to open this file up it's going to open up in uh, camera raw now what you want to do if you're going to use the adaptive wide angle filter you want to go to your lens corrections um, and make sure you do, do not tick this box because it's going to apply the lens correction within the filter you don't want to be doing it twice so make sure that you're not checking this box and that's quite important uh, as I said it's going to use the profile that if you've got one that comes with uh, within the file for your camera and it's going to use that to help us correct the distortion now I'm not going to do any adjustments to this I'm just going to hold down the shift key and uh, open this as an object and that's the other thing I would recommend is to uh, use these as smart objects because you can always keep going back in in there and uh, correcting stuff if need be okay so we're now in Photoshop this is the uh, smart object um, and here's our image and we're going to go to filter adaptive wide angle now I've actually found what appears appears to be a bit of a bug in this the lens profile is being recognized by Lightroom and uh, camera raw but when we come into the adaptive wide angle if you've got a lens profile that's being recognized this should be on auto but I'm getting this warning no matching lens profile fan and I've struggled with this for quite a while trying to work out what was going on and I do believe from reading forums uh, that this may be a bug in Photoshop so you may uh, may encounter the same problem so we're going to treat this as if there's no lens profile and um, and, and work on it um, like that for now now you've got very uh, various different drop down options here in the correction panel fisheye perspective obviously auto uh, which it would be on if there was a, a profile and full sp full spherical a bit of a mouthful. Now, full spherical, full spherical, I can't even pronounce it, full spherical, I think that's right, will only work with a 360 degree image, which obviously this isn't, so you'll get a warning, this is not a, a ratio, it's not one to two, which is in, invalid for a full spherical. So basically it's saying, this isn't, uh, hasn't got the right ratio to be a 360, so that's fine, so that's why you'll get that warning. So, it is worth trying these two options, fisheye, and perspective and uh, and seeing which may work better with your image uh, it all depends on the uh, the picture uh, obviously uh, the images will have different results but it's worth uh, trying those uh, moving on scale just means you can obviously adjust the scale of the image in the preview like so uh, focal length um, basically it's the focal length. Um, I know this image was shot on a 28, so I can uh, add that in, and that will help adjust the image uh, a little bit. Press enter, um, and that's done exactly that. Uh, the next uh, bit is a crop factor. That's obviously depending on the uh, if you've got a, uh, a full frame sensor or maybe an APS size sensor. This was shot on a full frame, so I've left it on one. And again, you know. If you had the lens profile being recognized it should do, you wouldn't have to be messing with these. It will be done uh, for you automatically. So uh, we'll just leave that on one. Uh, and that is it. Uh, and that just sets our image up with the right profile to help uh, the wide, uh, adaptive wide angle uh, do its magic. Okay, so let's just talk about some of these tools. We've got the zoom tool, which I think is fairly straightforward um, and, and uh, is something you'd be familiar with in Photoshop. We've got the um, the hand tool here, which allows us to move the image around. Um, we've got the uh, move tool, uh, which will move the content within the canvas. Uh, and then we've got these two other tools, the polygon constraint tool, which we'll talk about a little bit later on. And we've got the constraint tool, uh, which is the main tool I would say you'd be using uh, for a lot of these images. 
Now it's a good idea, especially as we haven't got a lens profile, that we should set our horizon. And we do this. We use the uh, we use the um, constraint tool here. Now the constraint tool basically tells Photoshop when you when you add a constraint, you're basically telling Photoshop this is a straight line. Okay. Now that's just done by I'm just going to do it very quickly. Just clicking in two spots, and you're telling Photoshop this should be straight. All right. Now, if we do the same again, but this time I hold down the shift key as well, not only are you telling it this is a straight line, you're also telling me this is telling Photoshop this is a vertical line. A bit tricky to get your head around, I know. So what we're going to do, first of all, I'm, I'm going to draw a... Do you want to tell Photoshop this is my horizon? So I'm going to click here. And because this is a horizontal line, it goes yellow. And I'm going to hold down the shift key. And I'm going to try and just roughly eyeball this where I believe the horizon should be. Like so. Now, that's not too bad. Now, you can adjust this. If you go in here, you get a little handle uh, pop-up. And you can adjust this line a little bit if you feel that is off. I actually don't think I've done too bad a job there. So, by holding down the shift key, not only are you telling the Photoshop this is the straight line you're also telling it it's a horizon line okay so as I said it takes a bit of a while to get your head around that but uh, that's basically what that does you can also if you draw a line uh, let's say let's just draw a normal line here um, you can right click and get the contextual menu up and you've got the option there you could uh, you could tell it hey this is my actually a vertical line and it will change like so now we should remember that the Colosseum is very old and not very straight. So there is a bit of creative license here, as with all these images, uh, you're not making uh, a global adjustment. Like with a with a lens uh, adjustment, a lens correction adjustment, it will apply the adjustment to the whole image. With the uh, ad wide angle adaptive filter, you're basically in control. You're telling the filter well, this is what I want straight, and other bits, if you don't want them correct, you don't have to, and this is the beauty of this, uh, this filter, is that you're, you've got control, and a little bit of creative control, and um, as I said, with the Colosseum, it isn't all straight, and, and it shouldn't be, so this is where these tools um, come in handy, is we can make decisions what we feel should be straight, and what we feel should be left alone. Now, by example, if I try and add a vertical here by holding down the shift key and tell uh, the filter that this is actually a vertical line it'll do that but it, it's going to start getting a lot of distortion in the image let's do another one this side and you'll see what I mean okay so both our sides now are in fact vertical or near, near as damn it so we've got our vertical straight, our horizon straight, uh, but of course we, we've now forced the image to be a bit more distorted elsewhere. So this is where uh, it'd be a good idea to use the polygon constraint tool. If you're trying to adjust a uh, uh, part of an image that's got not really any straight lines in it, this is the tool to use, and this would do like a perspective um, uh, adjustment. So let, I'm just going to trace around, roughly around the top of the Colosseum here, around the roof line and see uh, what will come of this adjustment see if it will help straighten up that that top edge you've got to complete the path and straight away you can see what a difference that makes here's before and here's after that adjustment so it's just adjusted that quite nicely and, and enough so I think I got a little bit lucky on that to be honest with you because I thought I'd have to go in and adjust it slightly um, so uh, that just shows you uh, what that tool does uh, in a really effective way so again there's before and there's after but again you might decide actually I quite like you know the the fact that uh, we've got that kind of distortion going on so you might decide to take that off you also might decide actually I'd rather take these off as well and had that kind of uh, distortion going up and just straighten that horizon like we did and that is the whole beauty of this adaptive wide angle filter is that you are in control of what you want to straighten in the image if anything and leave other parts um, maybe uh, slightly distorted but for effect as in this image 
And the final little tip I'm going to show you, um, normally when we're faced with images like this, we would probably grab the crop tool and crop it down, um, or even maybe use content aware um, to uh, to finish it off. But again, you can grab the uh, constraint tool, hold down a shift key, and you can just click on these verticals and tell the filter, I want that straight. Same on this side, like so. Then do the same for the horizontal line, like so. And the same down here. And that just uh, gives you back at that little bit of uh, edge, uh, edge on the images as well. So just click OK. And that will apply the, uh, the, the filter adjustments. And uh, here's the finished image. Here's before. Here's after. So in this one, I've basically just uh, adjusted that horizon just to straighten that up a little bit, which is quite bowed in the uh, in the original. Let me just zoom out and see if we can see that. So a subtle adjustment, but you know, as I showed you, you can go the whole hog and start straightening up a lot of these verticals too. But uh, all depends on your taste. So thanks for watching, and I hope to catch you in the next video. Cheers for now.